So we have all known for a while now that remakes and reboots are the latest trends in Hollywood. But this latest remake and reboot concept that I have heard of might just take the cherry for the worst idea I have ever heard of and that is global television thinking it would be a good and profitable business venture to do a remake of Robin Hood and I would like to clarify that is Robin Hood with the Y by the way because this new depiction of the character will be a black female rapper who will be fighting against the evil real estate tycoon John Prince in a modern day Nottingham. Yep, we are officially living in an era of history where a version of Robin Hood as a fox and little John as a bear are not the least accurate versions of this folklore. I know it is absolutely mind boggling isn't it? I don't know why Global Thought or any production studio for that matter would think that anyone would have any interest of watching this show at all or even in a Robin Hood remake in general as the last two remakes of this character have not been tremendous hits and they included huge stars such as Russell Crowe and Jamie Foxx within the films. So if those more accurate retellings of the folk tales around Robin Hood were not in high demand I don't get why production studios think that anyone will want to see a black female rapper version of Robin Hood fighting off against a real estate tycoon. It just sounds like such a ridiculous premise when you say it out loud and I do not see how it got the green light in any way or form. But the green light it did get and it is set to be releasing on September 27 of this year and it will consist of 8 60 minute episodes all of which I can assume will be terrible based off of this early release trailer. So based off this trailer you can see it does not look like it's going to be anything interesting or anything even that original to be honest. And the plot is pretty generic as well. The premise is that in the fictional city of New Nottingham where Robin Hood lives, the housing prices are really really high and Robin's working class community and family are concerned that the growing gap between the rich and the poor of the city is getting too large. And in particular the main concern is against the rich property developer John Prince who has strong control over the housing market because he has the local sheriff in his pocket and Robin Hood decides to fight back against the elite and help the poor using rap videos and modern technology. It's not the worst storyline I've ever heard but it's definitely in the top 5 and it just seems to be forcing in the narrative of Robin Hood when there really isn't that much real connection between the two stories being told. I feel like this show would have probably worked better as a separate entity doing its own unique thing and trying to build off of that. But no, we need to go and destroy the legend of another figure from our history to somehow force him into our current political climate. It just makes no sense and it is going to be a huge failure for the production studio. I for one am not a fan of historical movies and historical TV shows doing remakes in general and I would much rather explore other less recognized figures from our history such as Genghis Khan, Shaka Zulu or William the Conqueror and remakes of ancient and medieval historical figures or even fictional figures from folk tales. Having their stories retold in a modern 21st century is not a thing that I think most viewers are interested in seeing. But that's just my opinion so let me know in the comments below if you agree or disagree with my viewpoint. And remember subscribe to History Spark to stay up to date with all things related to historical movies and historical TV shows. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.